the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hi children very happy to inform you that majority of you have done the exams very nicely okay are you happy appo nammal video call akka cheythu nalla parichayam le kore neru nammal ariyirunnu pudhi kutikal undu aadhyayichana njan edukkunnathu appo nammal athu parichayam actually njan endinaanu video call cheyyanu ningale pedipikkano allengil ningal etra maatram padichu nno okka nokkanaanu മറിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾ വീഡിയോസ് ഒക്കെ കാണുന്നുണ്ടോ നിങ്ങൾ എത്ര മാത്രം വീഡിയോസ് എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അതൊക്കെ അറിയാനാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ വീഡിയോ കോൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് കേട്ടോ അതുകൊണ്ട് വീഡിയോ കോൾ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും പേടിച്ച് പതറാതെ മാറി നിൽക്കാതെ ഇനി വീഡിയോ കോൾ ഒക്കെ വരുന്ന സമയത്ത് നല്ല ഹാപ്പി ആയിട്ട് അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ ഞാൻ വിളിച്ച് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ സോ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം അപ് ടു ഡേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് വരുന്ന വീഡിയോസ് ഒക്കെ കണ്ട് അപ്പൊ തന്നെ ആ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കിലെ അപ്ഷൻസ് ഒക്കെ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈസി ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിൽ പോലും കരുതാത്ത ഒരു സ്റ്റേജിലോട്ടാണ് കൊണ്ടു നിൽക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ സമയം നിങ്ങൾ സ്കൂളിൽ വന്ന് നമ്മൾ സ്പോർട്സ് ഡേ ഒക്കെ ആഘോഷിക്കുകയായിരിക്കും അല്ലെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സുമായിട്ട് കളിച്ച് തമാശ പറഞ്ഞ് ആ ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ നിന്ന് മാറി ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെയാ നിൽക്കുന്നത് ഒരു മൊബൈൽ ഫോണിന്റെ മുന്നിലാണ് കാര്യങ്ങൾ നടന്നു പോകുന്നത് അല്ലെ മിസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടാവും സ്കൂളൊക്കെ പക്ഷെ ഈ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഒക്കെ മാറും അല്ലെ ചുറ്റും ഒന്ന് നോക്കിയാൽ തന്നെ ആ കാണാം ഒരുപാട് കൊറോണ കാരണം പല പ്രശ്നങ്ങളും അനുഭവിക്കുന്ന അല്ലെ മരണങ്ങൾ വരെ സംഭവിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷനിലാണ് നടക്കുന്നത് നിന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് പക്ഷെ നമ്മളത് സേഫ് ആണ് സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു ടാങ്ക് ഗോ ഓക്കെ എനിക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെയല്ലേ ഈ ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷനല്ലേ സ്കൂളിലേക്ക് വരാതിരിക്കുക മാത്രമല്ലേ വന്നിട്ടുള്ളൂ എന്ന് ആലോചിച്ച് ഹാവ് ടു ടാങ്ക് ഗോ ഓക്കെ എ ഗ്രീക്ക് ഫിലോസഫർ നെയ്മ്ഡ് ഹെറാക്ലൈറ്റസ് വൺ സെറ്റ് ദ ഓൺലി കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ അവർ ലൈഫ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ച് ഓക്കെ നമ്മുടെ ലൈഫിൽ എന്നും സംഭവിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമാണ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് ടൈം ആൻഡ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് അവർ സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ മാറ്റത്തിനനുസരിച്ച് നമ്മൾ മാറണ്ടേ കാലത്തിനനുസരിച്ച് നമ്മൾ മാറണ്ടേ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ വി ആർ ബാക്ക് വിത്ത് എ ന്യൂ ബ്രാൻഡ് ഫിസിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് വെയർ വി വിൽ എൻജോയ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്കവർ ദ വേൾഡ് ടു ദ ഐസ് ഓഫ് ഫിസിക്സ് okay so today we will learn the science behind an ink pen a thermometer a kerosene lamp and no more okay we cannot imagine a world without this phenomena at all so our hero for today is capillarity okay so before introducing or before explaining what is capillarity we can recall what we have learned in the previous class we have discussed on pascal's law and we have also done problems based on that isn't it so now again back to the topic capillarity now let's do one experiment okay what i am going to do is i am taking some ink in a bigger okay i have taken some ink in this glass what i am going to do is 
I am going to dip this chalk in this ink. What will happen? Just see what happened. The chalk absorbs all the ink. Isn't it? You can see the chalk is having ink now. Isn't it? What may be the reason for this? We will discuss that. Okay. Now let's do one more experiment. I have taken some water in this glass. To make it more attractive, I have added some color to it. Okay. What I am going to do is, I am going to dip this capillary tube inside this water. Capillary tube is very small. Okay. It is a... Okay, so I am going to immerse this capillary tube into water. Can you see? Can you see anything? See? What happens? The water rises up in the tube. Okay, what can you infer from these two experiments? In the first case, the ink can be bloated by a chalk. And the second case, when you immerse this capillary tube inside water, the water rises up in the tube. The phenomena behind this is capillarity. Okay, so we will study more about capillarity now. We have seen two boiling tubes. Is there? Is it? We have taken two boiling tubes. One which contains water, the other contains mercury. Okay. What we are going to do is we are dipping capillary tubes in each of the test tube. Okay. Take the case of the first one, which is filled with water. Just see the uh, water level in the capillary tube. What happens? The water level rises in the capillary tube. It rises up in the capillary tube. Like, whether in the boiling tube, the capillary tube is the water level. This water level is high to the capillary tube. Like, then, the water level is high to the capillary tube. It is known as capillary rise. Like, 
shape has changed. So the liquid which shows capillary depression is mercury. So let me make the definition of capillarity more clear. Okay, so what is capillarity? It is the rise or depression of a liquid through a narrow tube or minute hole. Now we have seen the capillary tube. It's a narrow tube, isn't it? And when we take the case of chalk, it is having minute pores in it. Isn't it? That rise or depression of a liquid through a tiny tube or a minute pore is known as capillarity. Okay, the rise or depression of a liquid through a narrow tube or minute pore is known as capillarity. Hope you have understood what is capillarity. Okay, see when you get sweat, we will take the tissue or towel to wipe off our sweat. Isn't it? That is, the, uh, that is one of the phenomena of capillarity. Or uh, you might have seen kerosene lamps. Isn't it? Okay, that is an example for capillarity. Okay, so find out more examples for capillarity. Okay, look at this figure. You can see an insect is floating on the surface of water. Isn't it? You might have seen this before itself. Like small, small insect seems to be moving along the surface of water. Have you ever thought the reason behind this? No. Hello, Chitelia. You look at the second Okay, look at the second figure. You can see a paper clip is floating on the surface of water. And a blade is floating on the surface of water. What may be the reason for this? Can you tell me? It is because of the mutual attraction of the molecules on the surface of water. Or in simple words we can tell it is because of surface tension. Already have studied about surface tension last week. Isn't it? So what is surface tension? What is surface tension? Due to the mutual attraction of the molecules on the surface. The surface acts like a stretched elastic membrane. Okay, the surface of the liquid acts like a stretched elastic membrane. Okay, because of that, the uh, insect is floating on the water or the paper clip is floating on the water. Okay, so is the surface tension same for all the liquids? Now, let's do an experiment based on surface tension. Okay, see here. Have taken water in this glass. What I am going to do is, I am going to place this blade on the surface of water. Can you tell me what will happen when I place this water, a blade on the surface of water? Just see. The blade floats on the surface of water. Already we have studied. What is the reason? For the blade to float on the surface of water, it is because of surface tension. Because the water molecules are acting like an elastic membrane. Okay, next I have told you whether the surface tension is same for all the liquids. Just see, I have added some soap to this water. Okay, I am going to place this blade on the surface of water water. Just see what happens. The blade sinks in the water. Okay. Because the surface tension decreases when we add soap to the water. Okay. 
So here, when we add soap to this water, what happens is the surface tension decreases. Okay, that is the reason why the blade sinks to the bottom of the water. Understood what is surface tension? So what is surface tension? Due to the molecular attraction of the molecules, the surface of the liquid acts like a stretched elastic membrane. This phenomena or this force is known as surface tension. Is it clear? Now, we will study about two more forces. Okay. So, you might have seen water in a tarot roof. Isn't it? Once like you. That is either this shape in the area like that, well done, good enough, good enough. Water molecules. 
or in simple thing i can tell you you might have seen counting currency notes while counting the person will be dipping their hand in the water so that so that he can count very fast why he is doing like that because here the force of attraction is between the finger and the water or else you can tell it is between for the water and the notes then the different molecules come in a little attraction such type of attraction is known as adhesive force okay it is known as adhesive force okay so can you define adhesive force it is a force of attraction between molecules of different types okay adhesive force is the force of attraction between molecules of different types adu undala otti pidichu than verunnathu adhesive force macha edha angane undayirunnathu take some water in a glass after that spill that water you can see the water molecules will be sticking on that glass is it it is an example for adhesive Okay, so now you have understood. I hope you have understood the difference between cohesive force and adhesive force. Okay, so cohesive force is a force of attraction between molecules of the same type, whereas adhesive force is a force of attraction between the molecules of different types. Okay, examples: the chalk particles sticking on the board. Currency while counting, uh, counting the currency notes, fingers are wetted at intervals. When you uh, immerse a pencil into a glass of water, the water molecules stick to the uh, pencil. These all are examples for adhesive force. Look at this figure. There is a beaker and a capillary tube is immersed in it, isn't it? So can you tell me which are the forces acting inside this? You can tell there are cohesive force and adhesive force, isn't it? But cohesive force is there, isn't it? But that is in the surface, isn't it? These water molecules come in, isn't it? In the lava, cohesive force, isn't it? So can you tell me which type of force is experienced at these sites? At these sites, which type of force is responsible? It is the adhesive force. Okay, because here the force of attraction is between glass and the water molecule. Okay, the force of attraction between the glass and water molecules. These are different types. So at these sites, adhesive force is taking place, whereas in the water surface, cohesive force is happening. Okay, so look at this figure. You can see the water level is slightly increased.
Okay, so can you tell me what is capillarity? The rise of depression of a liquid to a narrow tube of microporous capillarity. Okay, next one we have discussed what is surface tension. Okay, that is the due to the attractive force, the surface of the liquid acts like a stretched elastic membrane. That is surface tension. Next is adhesive force. It is the force of attraction between molecules of different types. Hope you have understood the topics we have discussed today. And now it's the homework for you. See my dear children, watch the video carefully and write down these important points in your file. Okay, note down the homework. First one. Find out more examples for adhesive force and cohesive force. Okay. Second one. We like plants using wicks made of cotton cloth. How does the oil rise up along the wick? Okay, my dear children. Study well. See you all in the next class with a new topic. Okay, bye.